is up YouTube today we are going to be going over minimum path sum it's a medium problem on leak code Amazon has asked this question before um, I started a slack channel where I post daily problems I posted the link below and lastly check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already I post videos every weekday I'll see you guys soon all right so the description reads given an n by n grid filled with non-negative numbers find path from top left to bottom right which minimizes the sum of all numbers along its path uh, we can only move either down or right at any point in time so we can only go right and down and we want to find the max sum to this number um, so that returns seven because we go one three one and then down um, so this one's good for drawing out on the whiteboard um, the first thing you want to realize is the the first row in the first column they only have one possible min sum um, because we can only move down and we can only move to the right so we're gonna the first step is we're gonna wanna calculate that so we're just gonna move along so 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus or 4 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus 5 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 I did I did that wrong 4 plus 5 is 9, 2 plus 9 is 11. Um, so the pseudocode for this is going to be int i equals 1. So we do 1 because we are um, we don't need to figure out the sum for this one. It's just itself. So we start here and here. Um, we're starting here for the, oh, for here for the first row. Um, <clears throat> and since we're moving along the columns in the first row it's the number of columns so that's where we're going to set our endpoint so i less than columns um, don't get tripped up it could you could think it would be rows but that's not the case and we're going to be solving this in a top down fashion you can do bottom up but i just want to do top down because um, that's what it's asking for anyways but you can do it either way and so we have grid so we want to do the first row so it's zero because that's the first row and then we're doing i plus equals and then we're just going to add the previous um so for solving this one we want to add this one so we just subtract um i minus one so grid zero i minus one and same thing for a column so we're going to have j equals one J, sorry for my sloppy handwriting. I'm trying to write this fast. J plus plus. And the same thing, just swapped. So we're going to have J here because that is the rows. Um, we're moving down the rows this time. So we're changing it. That's why you put J there. And this is the first column. J less than, yeah. Or, no, I already did the four. <laughs> Jesus. So, plus equals grid. So, we just subtract one from j, j minus one, um, zero. So, that's the uh, kind of like the first step. Next step is we want to solve these ones. So, we're going to use for this one, we're going to use the math.min function, and we're going to find the min of this one and this one. And then we're just going to go along the rows and then down the columns. So it's gonna be two for loops making it O of n squared runtime. Um, so we're just checking for each one we're gonna check. for. So for this one, we're gonna check this, the min of these two. So let's just go along real quick. Two plus four, they're the same, so six. And then we have two plus eight or two plus six. Well, two plus six is smaller. So we have eight, and I'm just gonna go through these real quick. Seven plus six, 13. One plus eight, nine. Nine plus nine, 18. 3 plus 11, 14, 2 plus 9, 11, 3 plus 11, 14. So in this case, we had return 14. So let's draw the pseudocode for it. And we're also going to start off at 1. Um, <clears throat> we, we're going to want to start here. So we're going to put both at 1. This is the 1 for 1 in 1 position. Um, So I less than rows. And J equals one. J less than columns. J plus plus. 
and we're just going to have grid i j plus equals math dot min of I ran out of space, but it's the one above it and the one to the left of it. So let's just do that. We're just going to subtract one from the variables. Um, so first thing, let's grab the rows. Cool. And the columns. And let's do the first row. So for Jesus, and oh my God equals one. So remember, it's um, columns. I, I wrote columns. <clears throat> So we have grid the first row. So we're doing grid zero i plus equals grid zero. And then we're just sub, that's not zero. i minus one. And then the first column. And same thing, just swapped. I already pseudo coded this. J zero. It's the first column. And then we just need to do the rest, the uh, double four loop. And it's just i j plus equals, or no, it's remember we have to do the math dot min function. So grid i minus one j or grid i j minus one. And then we just want to return grid. Um, rows minus one and columns minus one um, because in this case the it would be three rows we can't we don't actually have a third index that's why we subtract one down here so let's just submit that and it's over one space complexity because we didn't have to create anything new so this one works hopefully it works on the submit as well yeah, there you go. So it's pretty fast. Great memory usage. We didn't create a new array. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video.